I want to know if the internet is working. I'm a little bit nervous about. Yeah, it was kind of slow. It was slow. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Brianne from Life on Morrow Hill is joining me in the car because tonight is a a car cake episode of Time Out Tuesday. We do this a lot now, I feel like. There's a lot this of birthdays. Like, there's a lot of birthdays. Well, there are a lot of birthdays. Lester goes, so wait, are you going to like incorporate everybody on the hill? And I guess if they want to, but most people don't enjoy eating cake in a car. <laughs> um, there's not a whole lot of room for people to eat cake in the car. No, so, so, so it's really just like, Whoever's birthday it is can come, and then I will just go down the list, and that's just how. If everyone else wants to come, I mean, I guess they can we're, pull we're up a chair, a... and we can roll down the windows, and we're going to need a bigger car. We're yeah. going to need a bigger bus. <laughs> a bus. We'll get, like, a church van. Oh, my God. If we got a church van, that would be some of the greatest things to share. I, I think that we could really rock a church van. We could. You know that this church next door at one point in time had par a part on their stolen. So they asked if they could park it here. And at that point in time, Lester was driving a bus. Well, you know, everybody yeah. on this hill could drive a bus. And he took it to fill it up with gas one time. He took it to clean it out for them one time. And he was like, I kind of feel like we should have a bus. I was like, we should have a bus. I don't know why we, we don't have, have a bus. A bus. I we could go on the best family vacations. Oh, that's a lot. And girls' trips. <laughs> oh, the girls' trips would be outstanding. We don't need an RV. Oh. We need a bus. <laughs> I think it'd be great. I think it'd be a really fun time. Do you want to drink? It is Tuesday. Sure. sure. Okay. Uh, Jake called me. And oh, you should call looking him. Looking back now, I might should have answered. Jake is supposed to be here. I literally said, we start at 7. Hello. What are you doing? Okie dokie. The same place y'all bust in every time. I'm not as if why. Yep, we're here. See you in a minute. He, he doesn't sound like he's moving he so said, fast. Where do we need to go to? Like they haven't been here before. Well, that's what I was just thinking. Like, I'm trying to make sure I can see all the things. So tonight's drink is Mike's Hard Strawberry Lemonade. Or, I don't know. This is the other option, Brian. Hold on. <laughs> Another plastic bag. It's double bagged <laughs> for insulation. <laughs> for safety purposes. This is a pineapple mimosa. I don't know. I don't know what you... That's That probably will be good. But I have already cracked this. Oh, looks like you have so... both. <laughs> fine it'll be fine i have all the plastic bags you can stop at the grocery store like a weirdo um i'm just stocking them over i have a plastic bag storage space in my car now like you do under the like sink you do in your pantry or something yeah. oh that's a great question of the day where do you keep your extra plastic bags that's a great question of mine the day. actually is under my kitchen sink but so it is used mine. to be in my pantry mine used to be in the pantry but it is under my kitchen sink so uh where do y'all keep all your plastic bags? Because you know you keep them. Who? Or, yeah, do you keep your plastic? I did not keep plastic bags for a very long time. Until one day, I don't even know what it was. And I was like, man, I wish I had a plastic bag. And then it just dawned on me. Like my, like G kept plastic bags my whole life. My mom, and I just never started keeping my plastic bags. Until like not very long Look ago. Look at you being a grown up. I know, right? Cheers. Cheers. To time on Tuesday. To growing. <laughs> To getting old start saving your walmart bags pretty soon you'll be saving your cool up containers too i'm just saying i saved mine the other day after i made the dessert for you know illinois night yeah that was my first cool up container that i ever saved really i save um i save jars i have a thing for jars really like my pasta sauce jars you save them i save them what do you put in them um, they've been, they've come in really handy when I wanted to like save more sourdough disc. Oh. They've been real handy for that. Like you could put whatever you want in a jar, Jamie. It's I glass love, jars. I love jars, but I love tiny jars for I crafting like tiny stuff. bowls for sauce. <laughs> I do love tiny bowls. I love, I have to have sauce with everything and I love tiny bowls. I also, I am a sauce person. That's very strange that you're a sauce person. No mm. one else on Morrow Hill is a sauce person. No one puts anything it's so on weird. anything. I will have ranch on everything. 
You're so normal. I knew that I loved you for a reason. I'm the only normal one in this whole family. I, I would actually say that that's a pretty, pretty true statement, pretty true statement right? <laughs> actually. It's pretty real. Uh, you're also the only one that will try things. Like, you're the only Morrow blood that will try things. I'll say that. What kinds of things? I mean, you tried eggs. You tried those oh, eggs. Oh, yeah. I should not have done that. You're a busy lady. Your phone keeps That's ringing. That's like the third time that this unknown number has called me. So, I'm going to... Can I step out of the car for just a second? Speaking Might of be. unknown numbers, I got a call Hello? from Uruguay Hello? at 3 o'clock in the morning the other day. I don't still don't know who it was. They didn't leave a voicemail, but I got a call from Uruguay the other day at three a.m. Well, they called three times, and when I said hello, they hung up. Oh, they just so. wanted. They got nervous. Who's calling me? One of y'all better on better don't be calling just to hang up. At least say hi. Somebody says the Morrow's do eat kind of plain. Yeah. <sighs> I'm a I'm a no onions, and that's like. Do you love onion flavor though? Um, I. I like, do. So I it's do. a texture. I've never thought about it like that. I love like Funyuns. I love Funyuns. Yeah. And like the, I'll eat onion rings crispy. Yeah. But I don't like, um, I think they have a very different taste when they're like diced up for a burger. So do you like them grilled then? No, like then it caramelized? becomes like a texture, like a slimy thing. So, right? so I use, I use onions in almost everything I cook. I also love the smell of onions and I, Gen like I genuinely love onions, but cooking them down and things, and a lot of the stuff I cook, you would never even know that they're in there because yeah. of so because of how small they are. I don't just like despise onions. It's like if I like, do you eat salsa? Mm -hmm. So it's not a flavor thing. Then it's a texture. I don't know because I think they're like oh almost God, spicy on the... again. It's them again. Hello. <laughs> Amazon. Yes, ma'am. Where are you at? She's so popular, y'all. Bree, uh, Bree's channel is growing like crazy. But when I say that she's popular, like every time we go somewhere, her phone is always ringing. Like she is needed by so many people, and I, I adore her for being so much to so many people, um, and so sweet to so many people as well because she has the patience of a saint. I mean, have you heard the kids and the goats and everything in the background and Jake and all the things? Because, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that wasn't a scam. Was that a scam? No, she's up there. I saw her. Oh. <laughs> I was in to open y'all's door for y'all like a gentleman. Hi. Get yourself a chair before he steals it. Where's he going? He went around to get in. That's your birthday present right oh, there. thank you. <laughs> the other bag, too. All right. <laughs> we do birthdays really big around here with Red Bull and hot Cheetos. Oh, and milk. Oh, yeah. And milk. Oh, thank <laughs> God. This is going to be perfect. I what a weirdo. Hot Cheetos and milk. Sorry, Lissa. Maybe chocolate. Very sorry that, it's okay. that that gross stuff has to come into your house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why milk? Like for a temperature thing or like for a taste? One, it's delicious. Two, it controls heat. You were just talking about how weird people are out here. I was. Point. Yeah. I couldn't. We were talking about weird eating habits. And sauce. So, like, and I sauce. like sauce, mayonnaise. Con I like condiments. Maros typically do not like condiments of any kind. What do you like? Ketchup? Honey mustard. Oh, sweet and sour. Look at you. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You have opened his world then because he did, that is not how you used to eat. What? No, 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 no. I've always eaten honey mustard. And no, 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 no. You have not look. because you used, to <laughs> like, eat, you used to eat ranch on your tacos, and that was like the only kind of sauce nope. I ever knew you to eat. I put mustard, regular mustard on corn dogs. I've always done that. Oh, I only like mustard on pretzels. But I'm not going to eat mustard on a, on a cheeseburger. No. He's, I think he's still, he's not nearly as picky. I would agree I, with you on I've that. I've never been picky my whole life. I just go where the food's free. 
Dude, you used to say that you didn't like pizza. I don't. No, that's a lie. Nobody can just not like pizza. I, would, I did not like know this. Pizza. What do you mean you don't you like pizza? You eat Tostino's oven pizzas. Those are not regular pizza. It's the same thing. It's like not. A regular pizza gets on it. Okay, so like a... I'm not going to say Little Caesars because that's gross enough in itself. I don't like Little Caesars either. But just like a... I thought that the thunder. I thought the thunder did that too. I was like, okay. Well, like a uh, Domino's cheese pizza is not the same as a Totino's cheese pizza. You like pizza. Like barbecue pizza? I like barbecue, barbecue pizza. pizza. I like yeah, barbecue, barbecue pizza. chicken pizza. I like barbecue pizza. He's freezing me out of here. I'm sorry. Well, I was what? thinking that it was hot back there for them. He's freezing in here. I'm cold. Sorry, your air conditioning. I just woke up from a nap. I told you. I just said, I'm like, sounds like you just woke up. I don't know how. I don't know how we slept for like so many hours. Because the rain. It's the rain. I think it is, yeah. Well, um, happy birthday. I Thank got you a cake. Oh, yeah. Well, do we have knives and utensils? We don't have knives. We only, bring, um, we only do forks. We don't, since when do we do plates in the car? No, never. You just dig in from whatever part you want. So I did bring a game. As well, if we decide to play it, I don't. It's it's an icebreaker game, and it comes. It's called um, salsa. Salsa. Yeah, spice things up to break up the ice. I don't know what that means. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you, um, and listen, I brought. If you don't like chocolate cake, I brought you cheesecake. Cheesecake. Oh, she got yeah. a special cake. Yes. Was I supposed to open this right now? Sure, it was whatever. falling all over the place, whatever. and I was just very whatever. intrigued. Whatever, we can eat cake, and then we can play a game or not play a game. Whatever. Um, I, I, thought, just look. I thought Steve was coming. She must have got busy in the hmm? in the bathroom. Stephanie. Did you say Steve? Where not have you using, been? Not using the bathroom. No. Finishing <laughs> the what? bathroom. You've been in the restroom this long? Did somebody call her? You said it just I heard the way it sounded when it came out and so I just had to clarify. She's not I'm going sorry. to the bathroom. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> Did she say She's probably watching it and so embarrassed. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That is not what I meant at all. At all, at all. Like at all. we knew what you went, meant, but I didn't think it was enough Stephanie for everyone else. And Buddy are remo I'm shaking my fork again. No one should give me tools. Um Stephanie and Buddy are remodeling or no, fixing up a bathroom in their barn. <sighs> what? What is this? Jake, what are you doing back there? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh my god. Nothing back here. I I see that you're on the struggle bus big time. I want I don't know what somebody else to play that, that game one. one day. One day, just not today. <laughs> no, if we play it today, fine, great. But that is going to be funny. Okay. Uh text text Steve and see if she forgot. It's okay if she can't make it, but uh, I did ask her, and yesterday she was like, 7 o'clock, right? I'm like, yes. And then Bree is the only one who showed up because somebody was napping. I can't blame Lissa because Lissa has all the excuses. No, but, this is my fault. Yeah, way to go, Jake. I trapped this on the couch. This <sighs> really quite a lot. You looked really tired in your video. Mm -hmm. but, um, can, can I talk about Can I talk about the gender? Am I allowed to say that? Am I allowed to say it? Y'all yeah. announced it on all your stuff already, yeah. right? Okay, just making sure. Um, so Jake, how old are you? Twenty nine. And officially, officially twenty nine. So you have. Was Brienne confused everyone in the world? There were so many arguments. I was just over making how old I was yesterday. I was just making a joke. Yeah. <laughs> just making a joke. You made a lot of people angry with each other yesterday. I, I'm. That was not my intention. I was just made a birthday post with a joke on it. Dang. I said when you finish, when when you turn 29, you're technically finishing your 29th year yes. life. So he's actually closer to 30. You know in Korea that you when you're born, <laughs> you're one. So That's like, see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
when you're when you're born in Korea, well, you're what? Well, start saying I'm 30 then? I mean, I guess at this point, it don't really matter, does it? Why would you rush it? Because, you know, like, after after 21, no birthday matters really, does it? I mean, just you just kind of get older until you just don't anymore. Until you can join you know the what? ARP. You know what? <laughs> then what? You look forward to 65 and you get something. You get your then, benefit. Then, I had yeah. a really, really hard time with 35. All of a sudden, I felt like half of my life was lived. And that now I'm now like if I died then what would be in my obituary? I went through that at twenty, feeling like half my life had been lived. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm. I'll make it to about forty. And I feel like I'm so just content right now that I don't even know what else I would be doing at thirty-five. Well, you're a baby. <laughs> Y'all are babies. But like thirty-five. For whatever reason, was like, oh my god, it's halfway. What have I done? What do I need to do better? What do I need to be on my uh, in my obituary? Like I was so worried about what my obituary would say of what I didn't do. It'd be like Jamie Walker. She worked a lot. Like <laughs> that. That was it. And what and, a nice gal. <laughs> and I'm like, sadly, like okay, in a really weird way, our little hometown newspaper was two sections. Okay, and it comes out once a week, and the obituaries were people that you knew that you know and some of those obituaries were like member of this member of this proud parent proud uncle and aunt and and father and grandfather like all these things right that you know all the things that they accomplished and all the that they gave back to their community and all the things they were involved in and mine literally would have said mom worked a lot <laughs> had a couple of dogs like you can't you don't put that in your obituary yeah. you know so it, like 35, like 35 hit me hard. So I don't know when, when it's going to hit you or what part of timeline. Well, God, would you're kind of making it hit me right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just coming over me. I was happy when I got down here. I just Sorry. said I was content. Go. Time I out just said days. I was content. And now I'm like, oh God, what am I going to do with myself tomorrow? Oh, oh, no. drinks. It ain't worth it, I guess. <laughs> No, uh, it's good. How dreadful. <laughs> no, but but I think that your legacy matters. And, like, I think that when I think of all of you and how young you are and the things that you're giving back to the world through your videos, through your kids, and, and all that you're doing is leaving a legacy that is something to be proud of, that you don't have to have an obituary to tell people who you are because they're seeing it firsthand as well. And I think that's really powerful. Don't cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Can they just, uh, can they just point everyone to like my most fun videos when I die? Yeah, like, sheesh. there's some that I think now. I'm Not like, the ones that I was crying and right? cussing everybody in. <laughs> it just, it'd be like that sometimes. No, sometimes it is. But I think that, you know, I, I think that if, if you think about all of the videos that you're leaving behind in a way of like, when my kids see these, would they be proud? Oh, gosh, I gotta go delete half of my library. <laughs> <laughs> this is not good. I think that matters. And, and like, I, you know, I, I think about that, especially my, you know, my kid's 21. So my kid is closer to your age than, than I am. And thinking about, like, if he ever has kids and he watches those videos, like, what what would they think of me if they never met me and all they knew were those videos? And I'm like, well, they're going to think that their grandma was a psycho. But <laughs> <laughs> that their daddy raised them to be a lot like you and they think that you're really fun. <laughs> right? They're like, well, she drank a lot and um, <laughs> she cursed a lot and she rolled her eyes like nobody's business. That's really what I think that they would think. So anyway, uh, Lissa and Jake are having a boy and I'm really excited because their shower is... Sunday as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you said that because I've been getting a lot. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of emails and, and texts asking me, would we please throw you a shower? So we've already been, we've playing, been working we've, on this. It's, old news. It's Sunday. <laughs> Sunday is the shower. Stephanie is hosting. Uh, Bree and I are, are contributors. But Stephanie's on the mad dash to finish this bathroom because of the shower. So it's all y'all's fault. She might be in there till Sunday. <laughs> y'all were her motivation to. <laughs> She's get not coming out of that bathroom until She's Sunday. She's going to be busy in the bathroom She's all weekend. Like all party planner, right? She was texting me the other day about all these details. I was like, oh my goodness, Steph. Look 
That's why she was honestly the best to do it because she's very extra. She's very extra about that. Um, she is. She's going to be an excellent hostess. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. So. I did ask her last night if this was a if this was a couple shower because I remember a time in my younger years where showers were for women. Yeah. And then met, and then at some point in time it ended up where showers were for women, but men had a diaper party. Is that what y'all had? Laramie, they had a diaper party for Laramie at work. And Jake, yeah, you I just had my shower. Oh no, I'm waiting for everybody else. It's your birthday. We can't eat till you do. Well, I'm sad. I just want the chocolates off the top. I want to know what that tastes like right there. That versus that tastes like. That's really where I'm at. Is it not chocolate mm -hmm. and caramel? It looks chocolate mm -hmm. and caramel. What's on the inside? Mm -hmm. Chocolate. I'll put the whole thing in there. <laughs> I mean, if he's going to turn top. it. I think it's just chocolate. Just chocolate all the way? Oh, yeah. It's chocolate with, like, a chocolate mousse. I just want this, too. Somebody says to bring toilet paper for Jake. Uh, what, what happened? Oh, no. Well, we ran out of toilet paper yesterday. And That's one of my greatest fears. That's oh, it happened. happened to me. And it was kind of funny because for his birthday, I actually got him, like, a <laughs> and then I didn't expect us to have to use it, but we had to use. The you had to paper. use the funny toilet paper roll. Mm -hmm. it, was it was a disaster. I couldn't. It probably stained laughing. your butt colors. Cause it <laughs> what? Because it was printed. <laughs> it probably stained your butt. It probably did. That's horrible, right? Because it had like oh, red letters. Like, you're gonna break on me, like, haha, you at home and Jack. No, yeah, really. I'm not falling for it. It had like red oh, hearts and stuff no, on okay. it. So I'm just, oh, you don't have that. to, okay. you don't have to check. I'm not gonna ask you later if no. you checked your butthole. Oh, stop. Why'd you say it? Why'd you say it for? Well, I'm not gonna ask you. I'm just saying it probably did. Too, way too much talk about me in the bathroom lately. I'm so serious. Why is everybody talking about me in the restroom? Steph's in the restroom. I'm in the restroom. Leave us alone about the dang restroom. What's the matter with what we did in there? It's none of y'all's business. Seriously. That's oh, right. It's like when I come up to the old door, keep on knocking. Hey, what you doing in there? You what? do. <laughs> hey, you know, I had to on. ask Dad a question yesterday, and I walked in a mama said where's dad she said he's in the bathroom <laughs> hey i need to know where this is oh my god doesn't bother me none <sighs> did you grow up in a house with one restroom no yes no, no. what oh no no i did Bree did i didn't i didn't i grew up one one bathroom two brothers and my mom and that meant that the shower cur curtain counted as a as a wall. So, like, if you were taking a bath, the toilet was still available yeah. for whoever. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It was rough. I so, just have to wait to be last so everybody else is done. <laughs> but is there how wait until everyone goes to bed at I, night? At that point, it wouldn't matter. I'd know nobody's coming in there. <laughs> I'd take See, the, the weird thing is. Nobody was coming in. The weird thing is. I, uh, no, I wouldn't, actually. What? I was going to say, I would be comfortable with taking a shower while someone else used the bathroom, but not vice versa. I could not use the bathroom while someone else took a shower. That's but at disgusting. the same time, I wouldn't, I wasn't thinking about, like, I wouldn't want to hear or smell someone out on the toilet. So well, I don't. yeah, like, you're trying to get all clean and someone out there is like, Ugh! <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's what you do, scrub a dub dub in the dub! What happens at your house? Like, oh, you don't know, I don't know, know what that sounds like when he goes to the, the bathroom. No. Y'all keep on asking about the restroom. Does something happen to y'all in there? No. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, and we were little kids. So, like, oh. if we would walk by the bathroom <laughs> door and say, oh, you stink. What did dad say? No. <laughs> You're not oh. going to say it? Oh, my gosh. I'm done with this whole it is all things. I'm not going to say it, but he always made a Larry the Cable Guy joke as we oh walked by the bathroom. Oh, my God. Seriously? Yeah. 
every time. Oh, Uncle Dan's. Thank God he doesn't watch my videos. Thank God. Oh yeah, I hope you don't hear. I hope you don't hear me talking about him. <laughs> don't tell him. I'm glad I didn't tell the joke. Oh Vin. my God. <laughs> Everybody good today? Get her done. <laughs> I forgot about Larry the Cable Guy. Is he still a thing? I don't know. Well, I know I'm his co mayor now. Oh, I'm like, how old is he now? He's gotta be so old. Do you know the other day that I learned that, like, uh, did you know who Iggy Pop is <clears throat> from the Red Hot Chili Peppers? I know the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Okay, so the lead singer is like, 78 which doesn't make sense because I thought he was my age I feel bad getting out of bed in the morning right now I can't imagine getting up and putting on a a show at almost 80 no yeah I can do it this would be me I'm still gonna be rocking when I'm 80 Stevie Mick still does concerts I just I don't know when I think of third okay 30 years ago to you is when? Uh, negative one. Negative four? <laughs> so, 30 years ago to me is the 70s. It's not the 70s. It's the 90s, technically. Yeah. But when I think 30 years ago, I think the 70s. So, it's really weird to know that 30 years ago is... was the 90s. Well, what makes Y'all were born in the 90s, weren't you? What mm -hmm. uh, age makes something vintage? 50? 50 years or 30 years? I don't know the answer. They would know that answer. All I know is that Xander came home from school one time in like middle school and was like, Mom, somebody brought in something vintage and from from school today. It's an antique. And I was like, Really? What was it? He goes, I don't know, but it was from the 80s. And I was like, <laughs> I'm from the 80s. I'm not vintage. I'm not antique. So vintage. Alright, they're saying that, that Iggy Pop is 61. Somebody else. Mick Jagger. I have to pull I will figure out who I'm talking about. Lester made me pull it up the other day and, and that person was 78. And I still couldn't believe it, which meant that when in the middle of his career he was like 46 or something like that. I'll have to figure out who that was. But So, so. you've got time to do whatever you want in life, okay? You're gonna be going till you're 80. <laughs> it's it never to too sleep. late to start a new it career. Hurts to sleep now. Isn't that depressing? Isn't that depressing to think like, okay, so I'm gonna live to be 85, and right now I feel like I've been here a long. Yeah, I do time. really. And it's only been 29 years, so I'm just thinking like, I gotta do that like two and a half more times. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be exhausting. I'm already exhausted at 29. I can't do this. But y'all don't have years? the whole thing of like wake up in the morning and your whole body hurts from sleeping yet. No, but, I absolutely oh, yeah. do. I couldn't hardly walk down here from being on the couch for I two just hours. had a crick in my neck for like three days straight. No, you did not. I swear I did. I couldn't years. turn anywhere. I need to win the lottery. You're too young now. for that. Farm life is hard. Mick Jagger is 80. Thank you, Claudia. It's Mick Jagger. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> I did walk around for like two and a half days straight like you turning like this because mm -hmm. my you neck too. was so messed up from sleeping. You sure it wasn't from slinging stall mats? Mm, no, surely not. No, I did Farm five work is hard though. Huh? What'd you say? What? You didn't unload nothing. There's video proof. Okay, so I know the the, the next like living breathing thing is your baby, but are you planning on any other animals anytime soon? I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know. What are you planning on? Nothing. Nothing. No. No mm -hmm. secrets. No animals. Uh, <laughs> we're having a baby. That's what I said. I was like, "Oh, you know, you're gonna have a baby, but any animals in the future?" Okay. What about you? No. Mm -mm. No, any, I'm not any, getting nothing. Any babies? Um, I would. I. I I have been struggling with getting in a little bit over my head on projects that I want to do. Hmm. So I'm, I'm still deciding 
uh, where doing my little lane falls in that. But after that is done, I would look into getting some more goats. I thought you were going to say I was looking into having more babies. I really thought that's where you were going down this path. Because that's whenever you piped up. I was like, no, well, this, is, uh, this is a new story that I wasn't expecting. I'm fine with two kids. Okay. What about horses? Oh, yeah. I'll get more horses. <laughs> Yeah, that's no question. <clears throat> When's the official due date, guys? Okay. Oh, it got moved. Yeah, it didn't. August 18th. Yeah. And that's what we mean. Dad were just talking about yesterday. Isn't that your dad's birthday? Uh-huh. Aww. Right. That's really sweet. So that puts you at what? 2021 20, weeks? 21. 21. Oh, he's measuring it. Okay, so I'm not going to ask you the name, but are you keeping the name all the way till he's born? I was supposed a to secret. do that today, but I didn't. <gasps> you told people you We still could. We today. still could do it after this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We could, yeah, we, could mar- we could do a march home in the rain after this. You know, Jamie could drive. I could us drive you afterwards. I, after that's quite this. possible. It is. We could do that. Yeah, I jumped to the was, fence over there. It was cool because... You were working on the yard. That's really was awesome because we got to find out the gender and the gender has a name now. So it was really nice. That's exciting. So, just out of curiosity, did y'all have a girl name picked out already for mm-hmm. if it was a girl? Mm-hmm. Can y'all say what that would have been? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know if he doesn't know what it was or he doesn't know no, if he I, can say it, I, but. I'm, you want to know exactly what it was. Okay. Huh. Are you asking for permission if know. you can say it? I don't know. It's all right. You can hold that in. We'll just talk about it later. Because what if it maybe is a girl anyway? What if the ultrasounds were wrong? No, um, don't say that. Does that happen it, anymore? It is. <laughs> well, I think it was. <laughs> Stop! What? What? That is my nephew! I'm just saying, Brady, all of a sudden the monitor was Stop there. Stop it! it, was like, it was that like, could have been... Slap the screen. Hold on. That could have been a cord. No, man. It, wasn't. it was definitely Trust a cord. Me. Cords don't only got one end. He was covering. He would not show us his face, but he wasn't shy about that part. Well, that's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready to go home, too. I'm ready to go home, too. You know, Laramie said the same thing about Cash. In the room with the ultrasound technician, talking about, woo! And I was just dying inside. Like, I could not believe that he said that. I... Yeah. I have no words. It's just a man thing. It's a man thing. It totally is a man thing. Oh, my God. Did you know what you were having? I did. Uh, I found out at my, I think they did a 20 week ultrasound and it was a boy. And, but I also felt, I felt like it was a boy from early on. Did you feel? I did. I didn't know. I wasn't, I did not feel anything because no? with Carter, I didn't find out until my first trimester was already over. So I didn't have symptoms enough to even know that I was pregnant. And then after that, I don't know. I don't feel like I was very in tune with my body during Carter, my pregnancy with Carter. Just it being my first time and not knowing anything. But with Cash, I was like, oh, I felt that with Carter. Oh, I know what that is. I know what that is. And he did feel much different. Hmm. But you knew? Like you felt? Yeah. Yeah. I, I think we felt all right I move so fast. I just have this gut feeling. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that makes that makes sense. I, I also had the same, like, I, I guess gut feeling is what I would call it. I'm going to turn Well, on I was, like, light. 12 or 13 weeks when I found out with Carter. And even with Cash, I was still, like, 10 weeks. So, I still didn't have any, any pregnancy symptoms. You, so, but Lucy, you were sick in the beginning, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was awful. 
And then people are like, oh, it's a girl because it's making you so sick. No, he's very much a boy. <laughs> and he made me very... I still get a little bit nauseous sometimes. But, but in the beginning, oh my God. What about you? Did you get sick? Uh, No, I couldn't eat. Oh, oh. Stephanie's calling me. Oh. Hello. Oh, okay, we're in the car. <laughs> Okay, bye. Oh boy, Steve's on the way. She is coming. Um, I did not get sick other than the fact that I just couldn't eat. I lost like 40 or 50 pounds at the beginning of each of my pregnancies. Um, and then after that, the only thing that made me sick was brushing my teeth. What did, where were you shoving your toothbrush? No, it was just like the toothpaste touching the inside of my mouth in general just started making me gag and stuff. Really? I couldn't do it. I don't know if it was the mentee. There's a lot the... of people that were sick. I, I, so I wasn't sick. This is too, too much information for Jake, but I can share it with the rest of the world. I woke up <clears throat> three days after it happened and I went from an A cup to a D cup. And oh, I was like, man. I'm pretty sure I'm pregnant. Yeah. Like I'm, and I was living with a roommate and I had to borrow her bras to be able to go to work. And I knew I was pregnant before I could even take a test. Because that. <laughs> I have never felt pain like that in my whole life. But that was it. That was how I knew. That's Sorry, Jake. Yeah, I was plugging my ears. <laughs> <laughs> no that one can was... see you. No one can even see your face. All I can see oh, is your sleeve. That light's bright. I yeah. always thought that that was like an exaggeration that you just see in movies and stuff. Because I never no. felt any of that. So I was like, oh, man. I, had, I just must have had it easy. <laughs> listen, my, sorry for, again, too much information. My boobs had never met before that day. They never <laughs> encountered each other until that day. And I woke up and I was like, oh, wow, this is, this is not normal. And I actually took a test every day for like six days until one became positive because I knew. I knew. Yeah. I was so confident that I was not pregnant <laughs> that I took my pregnancy test at work okay. at the vet's office. <laughs> and then I had to came, come out and tell all of my friends that I was wrong <laughs> and they were right. Look at Steve. Move over, Jake. Happy birthday. <laughs> what happened? Did you get stuck in the bathroom? <laughs> Well, you're not gonna sit in my lap. <laughs> I can sit in the middle. He's on this Red Bull box. Come back. Come back. <laughs> this is fun. I'm getting right here. No, just come back. It's That's okay. Fun. What no, were you doing? No, this is fun. I'm, I'm not gonna go up there. I'm gonna stay right here. That was just really weird. <laughs> just Stephanie's out of the bathroom. No, I'm just gonna stay right here. Why? Because there's a seat right there, and this is weird. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> I wonder if I open. Look no. at this fancy cake. Yeah, you want some? Jake Jake had like three bites. Yeah, I had a big bite. I had one bite too. I it's cho very chocolatey. I like oh, that's I did what, have a chocolate on the That's top what too. Jake asked for. He's like, I want chocolate cake with chocolate icing. And I was going to Basically. bake a cake and I did not. I cooked dinner before I came down here. I cooked dinner. But I haven't eaten it yet. Oh, I think that's why I can't think about eating this chocolate cake right What did now. you cook? Steve? Uh oh, pulled pork and Texas toast. Oh. Why? Just no. So right, this Jake. is horrible. I made Jake and Lisa dinner and dinner and didn't bring it. You did? Yeah. So what was it? Uh, it was my my garlic chicken pasta. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sounds good too. Yeah. I'll have to bring it to you tomorrow instead. Sorry. We know where y'all live. It's fine. Come on down. I bet it will taste better the next day. It actually is better the next day. I'm not gonna not gonna lie. It's really good. Um, do we want to play this game really quick? Do you wanna do you wanna play? Do you have time for a fifteen minute game? Is it bad? Like, no, I'm that, ready. No, I'm no, good. I mean, I'm ready. I'm not playing the game. You were asking me? Yeah, I, did, I don't. All I know oh, is yeah, salsa. Ready. No, they're, they're not. The ones that I read weren't bad, like nasty bad. They were bad, like funny bad. <laughs> okay, so the rules are we're playing a game now. Steve's here. Um, you were in the bathroom? I've been asking you what you were doing. I don't think you've answered me yet. I was painting. I've been painting all In the this. bathroom? We, we told everybody that you were stuck in the bathroom. We said, where's Steve? And Jamie said, she probably got stuck in the bathroom. Yeah. I was like, um, 
creating it, like <laughs> building it. Yeah. Okay. Everyone needs a marker? Here's the rules. First things first, make sure everyone knows each other's names. Okay. Each player starts with five cards, two from both the spicy salsa deck and the mild salsa deck, and one blank card from the guacamole deck. Fill in the blanks on the spicy salsa and mild salsa cards with the names of the players who fit the best descriptions. Here's where you can get creative and make some uneducated some educated guesses. Fill in the guacamole card with anything true or entirely made up about either player. Okay. Um, I didn't know the rules. I changed mix everyone's cards playing. into a pile and place them face down in the middle of the table. The player with the most recently went to the bathroom draws a card first. I'm oh. not making that up. That's you. Okay. First. <laughs> All right. It's, it's Steve. Okay. So these are. These are all mild. The person that most recently went to the bathroom? Yeah. Goes first? Yeah. So is one side oh one side spicy and one side's mild. Wait, what draw five cards what? Oh, each player starts with five cards. Should I, should I mix them up? Yeah. I, I gotta find the guacamole cards while you're doing that. I don't know where those are. Yeah, she's gonna get You're gonna go right in the cake icing. Well, where's the lid at? Uh, up oh. there. Here. What? <laughs> what? I, don't, what? I didn't want Brie to have to lick my elbow and just get, <laughs> lick the icing off of it. I would have done it for you. I know you would have. I don't know where the guacamole cards are, but this is what we're going for. The weenies. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what it's called. Your tip of your elbow. It's called your weenus. No, it's not. It, it is, is called your weenus. You didn't know. Oh my that. god, we just taught Stephanie something. That never happens. That never happens. Uh, ever. I taught Stephanie something. No, no I don't <laughs> believe you. Look it up. A weenus on your All right. elbow? Don't type that in right now. Don't type it in your car. What are you doing? I want to look at them, see. No place to be typing that okay, in. Okay, five cards each. <laughs> yeah, so we'll just do those instead of guacamole. <laughs> I found the guac cards, but either way. All right, there are markers in here. Everyone take a marker. Oh, yikes. <clears throat> we each get five cards. Do I have to pass them out like a card dealer? Or can I <laughs> hand you three more? <laughs> this game just tells me who I want to call. Four, five. Oh, no, it's the rain. Four, five, five, we're all on a lot. Four, <laughs> four. We're on a lot. It's going to be fine. Okay, so this four, game is five. called Salsa. And it has things on it, mild and spicy cards, and they have things on it, and you have to write some, I have three. They say mild on the other side. You have two spicy and two mild. No. We're going You're to have five cards. Five cards total. Reversible. Oh! Mm. <laughs> Let's see, that. How many you got? Three. I need two more. Okay. Are we... So you have to write someone else's name down. Eight, okay, and we're going to expand them. this and say that it doesn't have to be in this car. It oh. just has to be okay. one of the Morrow Hill creators. How about that? Sorry, I'm not trying to put okay. my feet in your Okay? Yeah, right. because this is like, I would in, I'd, oh. I'd in out if I'm writing anyone's name on any of these cards. I'm just like calling you all very bad things if I write Are they bad? Name. Well, hold on. Nobody's going to know that you wrote it. Yeah. It goes into the bowl. And but still, I know it. My heart. Okay. I can't write these things about y'all. Y'all are good we, people. Do we have to use some of these? Are very bad. Yeah. You can choose the mild or the spicy. How about that? Okay. I don't even know what this means. Well, here, oh, draw. I was on the spicy side. Draw another. Here, draw some other ones if you need. If you need to swap them out because they're not live appropriate. Here's some more. I have a really funny one. Though. Okay. Definitely. So the the game is to put them, put a name down of of recommendation of who this statement applies to and we will put it in a bowl and then whoever has recently went to the bathroom we're going to say steve uh gets to read them first is that read supposed first. to be an insult because i don't know why i don't know yeah pick a different one don't don't look at me <laughs> <laughs> oh this this is just spicy. one just spicy one is a hard no spicy is bad yeah spicy. Uh, let's pick, let's do three cards each. Okay. 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 It's funny because the spicy it? side yeah. is like bad, bad. And then the mild side is just like, <laughs> it's not <laughs> stupid. Some of, you like the it's like one extreme oh. to the other. 
Okay. I can't see this. <laughs> Named her what? I know. Yellow side it is, friends. <laughs> this game is naughty. Okay, this game is naughty. Oh my goodness. Not it. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Could it be a false? Wait, how many? Could how, it be a lie? Yes, it's a lie. Oh. It's an accusation. Okay. So this game is about like accusing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the red side is is not made for video purposes. I'm going on red. I'm gonna do. I've it. revealed too much about myself on this red side tonight. <laughs> I've ripped my own name. Is anyone gonna do a red? Yeah, I'm doing a red. Okay. <laughs> I did a red. But I'm it actually. Was a, I'm it was doing, a milder. I'm doing all five. Spicy. Reds? No, I'm oh. doing five cards. This is so bad. Hmm. How many cards do I have in there? All right. Oh, you have a five-year plan, Bree? You loser. <laughs> I skipped that. I would like to submit my <laughs> cards. This is Jamie's gonna get demonetized at birthday with these birthday parties. You're probably right. That's probably a million percent oh, true. Oh man, I gotta make sure to cover the back of this one so nobody can read it. Oh man, uh, there's another layer to this game because it also says "prove it" on some of my cards. <gasps> So, uh, we're going to play that part tonight, but, like, there's oh some, God. thank God Kim is not here, because oh Kim would have, oh my gosh, no, Kim loves this guy, <laughs> these are just extras in case you can't find on this semi-appropriate yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> give me some of your fresh cards, I don't want Jacob to see any of these, just, just one or two, four or five. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm going to give you an example that I can't Don't show do you. It. Don't do it. Oh, the, no. the red side of this one says blank has measured their man part as an adult. And you have to accuse someone of doing that, and then someone else gets to read it out loud. <coughs> That's how naughty some of these are. And that is a mild one, to be quite frank. I can read y'all some of my naughty ones, but I'm telling you, they're pretty bad. What do you have to say to be frank? What? That's my I feel like these are rubbing off. Oh no. Okay. All and right. y'all let me know when we're ready because I'm just pulling cards five. now. I oh, five. I don't know how many I have. It's okay. You mix them up. Just be careful not to rub it. It don't matter. It's just. All right, Steve. Let's get you to read off. Pull them out and read off five cards. I read off five. Yeah, everybody will read oh, off no, five. I'm forgetting what I picked, and I'm worried if we should read them all. Why? Because I don't know which cards I chose. What did you think that we so were gonna I, do? I just I don't think just, I was thinking about it because just I was laughing over too here hard. Accusing and accusing. Oh my god, people are like, did you write Lester's name on that card? Jacob? <laughs> oh, I forgot that we could choose people outside of the car. It's fine. For you. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Jacob has needed an ambulance called for them. Yes. That's true. Yes, it is. <laughs> How did we breathe that wrote my name? No, I didn't. Okay, who called me Jacob? You? <laughs> That's your name. <laughs> That's weird. I wanted to throw everyone off. Okay. Bree has a piercing on a private part. Stop! Oh, stop! <laughs> stop! Not true. 
Do you have to confirm or do I confirm? Oh, okay. I mean, feel well, free then. to if you would like to. Like, Continue. or you can leave the mystery if you like. But Lisa can't do a pull-up. Oh, I just tried Why? yesterday. <laughs> I just tried to see what you're going after you do it. <laughs> That's that's in my way. Why'd you try pregnantly? <laughs> <laughs> because he just got this cool new pull up bar thing, and I was like, oh, I could do it. I used to. No. Lisa I've got never one signature to. in their high school yearbook. Oh, Laura Honeywell. I didn't have a high school yearbook. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> that's even more sad. I think I'm somebody call either. Kim. No, Kim cannot. <laughs> Jacob <laughs> tracks their daily steps. I do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, what am I at? You have to talk louder because people can't hear you. Oh, I'm talking about. Okay, well, who's next? Bree. Who's who? You, Jake is going next. The birthday boy. I'm only getting three or two or however many I got in my hand because I'm scared. <laughs> Jamie has been to the hospital for alcohol poisoning. I have not. Well, somebody thinks he has. <laughs> That's not true. You know what's funny? See, these are things that have probably been in the comments before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Steph has been to an NSYNC concert. I mm. feel like I could see that happening, though. I don't think I have. But, but you I, would have? I probably would have if I had the opportunity. And Jake doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> oh, I did that <laughs> You know I know how to swim. I'm just afraid of the water. Yeah, that's Time out. You don't know how to swim? I do know how. I just, um, my biggest fear in the world is drowning. So, I think that is, like, something that happened to us in our, I don't know what happened to you, but I physically drowned. I did drown. <laughs> I know what it is, but I'm not going to tell the story because my dad will go to prison for child abuse. Maybe he was, so, <laughs> maybe he was afraid because of No, not like that. Not like I, I know we did some questionable, questionable things in our childhood. I told you about things called old therapy that made me very claustrophobic yeah, get... and made me have any fear of not being able to breathe is probably what happened. <laughs> it's true. It's fine. It's fine. It's a yeah. true story. I'm, I know how to swim. I'm just not very good at it. So Where are you walking? Is that Heidi? Oh, you turn on the YouTube. Oh, if you, you turn that screen on, it will give cheese you light. time dogs? It's, there's a little... Select all. What in the fancy TV is going on here? Uh, the boys know how to work them. That's all I know. There's a button or something. Uh, okay, it's okay. When, yeah, you I don't know. Out, when you called out Steph for writing that, did you see Alora? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Alora was at our house the other day, and he was trying to be smart with her. <laughs> and she caught on so fast, uh -huh. and she started being smart back, and she totally won. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, we were doing this with, um, we did electrical today and we got electrical done and then uh, we well, I finished up the plumbing today and made sure there was no leaks. I'm like, oh, you did, Alora? And she's like, yeah. And then, I don't know what she said next. Uh, she's waiting on, Sorry. oh yeah, yeah, Sorry. something about working on a well or something. I said, like, oh, you got to prime your well. She goes, yep, I'm just waiting to prime it. Dang. And I was like, okay, well, never mind. I'm done with this. Yeah. Like, I am no <laughs> longer. just laughing because yeah. she's, she caught on so fast. Hilarious. Oh, I was really love her. Okay. Um, ben has auditioned for a reality <laughs> show. I can see that. He's not here to defend himself, but it's plausible. No, he, I could, he would love that. I think he yeah, would. He probably would. I think he would. What did you write about me? <laughs> I'm going to read that. <laughs> what? What? Look, get close to the hey, your face. You read it. Get close to the face. Your face. <laughs> what does it say? Shirtless. Oh, where's it at? Shirtless yeah. Jake has a foot fetish, and then he drew Honey's feet. <laughs> oh no! Oh, well, y'all made the card, okay? Uh, y'all made me play this game. Okay. Bree has had an imaginary friend as a child. She did. I've spoke to a lot of imaginary people in my lifetime, to be honest. <laughs> like Still yesterday? Old, she's gone. I mean, like, pretty <laughs> frequently, actually. Aww. That explains why videos are so easy. Because yeah. there's really always someone on the yeah. other side yeah. of the camera. <laughs> Absolutely. That's normal. Okay. 
shirtless Jake has never used a public restroom. And I'm almost positive that he wrote this about himself because that is a fact. I <laughs> did write it. That's my handwriting. Jake doesn't know how to play this game. And yes, I do. <laughs> no, Jake's I like, down the this truth. was me. Jake and just this was me. does not use public bathrooms. No, this, I'm writing down the truth on my cards. I didn't make up stuff like y'all. He just uses the Is that why? Ass. Like, what happens when you go on vacation? It'd be a long week or whatever. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, y'all ready for the next one? Longhorn Lester loves to refer to their home state as God's country. That's my home oh my gosh, I no called way. him out. It's true. No he does. Way. Yeah, he does. He All he does. talks about is his flags hanging in his driveway. It's God's country. I would text my Longhorn bowl. Oh, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is way too deep. Bree has accidentally killed a pet. <laughs> My God, that's, that's this was harsh. you. <laughs> this was harsh. It wasn't. It wasn't me. That brought down the That cuts deep. You don't know. Hey, Bree. Who was it? Who'd you kill, Bree? This one's been edited. <laughs> what do you say? It says Jacob has flashed a stranger. What? <laughs> <laughs> ones well <clears throat> steve knows a tiktok dance by heart mm, I, don't, I don't think i do Maybe. i have seen you floss <laughs> no you haven't i i haven't had a floss hold on no i have why she has you are so full of it really i have video of thing. you flossing at goodwill Okay, but that was not a true legit. That was, a, that was an attempt. That was, that was a seizure. So you're saying that if you wanted to dance, you could really get down. I could. <clears throat> yeah. This is this is uh, this has been modified as well because someone else fat fingered him before she touched it and wiped out her own name. It says Bree has been arrested. I've seen it happen. I've seen it happen. No, no need to explain. Was Bring only it pretend. Leave it there. No need to explain. Leave it there. Okay. I saw Brie get arrested once. Sister Kim has been dumpster diving. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Take after Pop. Yeah. Man, does it, does it I, do? I've seen it with my own eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen Pop. No. Legs up in that dumpster with my own eyes. Listen, we were going through some stuff yesterday or two days ago, and Lisa makes a pile and says, well, I'm going to put these on top because I know Pop's going to get them out of the dumpster. Oh, no. Seriously. You do not. I'm going to do it for him. Oh, my God. Okay. And here's the final one. Stephanie has cooked naked. Don't lie. No, there is Don't no lie. denial in this card. Jesus hears you. Honey okay? just taught me this the other day. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Okay, no, wait. To not listen. cook bacon naked? Bacon. You shouldn't yes. do that. No, I was making bacon. She told me. Why are you laughing so hard, Brian? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what? I am going to need you to take me home. <laughs> Before what? we talk about anybody else cooking naked in here. I was making bacon. <laughs> Making bacon. We done talked about 
my brother, that's why he's walking funny, my future nephew. That's right. Stephanie is in full denial of her TikTok dance. That's probably the the biggest like reveal of this whole thing is the world oh. saw Stephanie. It wasn't a TikTok dance. It was a Fortnite. A dance. Fortnite, dance. Fortnite dance. Duh. Okay, clarification. Brie is guilty of many things. I mean, that's true. I don't know what thing we're talking about right now. I think but... the cooking naked is, has a lot of people questioning things. I've done many things naked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, take uh, me home. <laughs> both of you. <laughs> take us both. Take us all home. What a fun game. We will have to play this at a greater family event. Yes. Uh, when when everyone is involved. I think that will be a really fun time. And, what are you and we'll there? all Cords be... and cards? Oh my God. Jake's still filling stuff sure out does. back here. British pole danced. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, someone write my name on this one. <laughs> Stephanie, his garden's naked. <laughs> you have not, because I would have seen you. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my God. Okay, so the next. Okay, I have I have two questions for y'all. Have you seen the TikToks where people paint each other? They do a portrait of yes. each other and reveal. Okay, I would like to do that as a family event down yeah. the table where that. we're all sitting across from our partner and we paint a portrait of each other. Is anybody down for that? We have portraits on our fridge that we have drawn of each other. I mean, I'm not a good painter. Well, well, sure. I'll, I'll take that back, Jamie. We have a portrait mm -hmm. on our fridge that I have drawn of us. Do you remember? Yeah. I'm going to post that when we get home. Okay. It's a beautiful. Good. Drawing. I want to see it so I can see if you drew Bart Simpson on my golf cart. It's nowhere near that good. I promise. <laughs> that was not me. And I would not have drawn. I thought it was. Uh, no, 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 it's Homer. Yeah, that's I, right. it. I, I thought it was Bart. It wasn't even the right guy. You somebody, somebody scratched you like Homer so Simpson into my golf cart. Wait. <laughs> no, like really good though. Like, like really detailed. Like it's like good. A pretty good picture. Of Homer Simpson scratched into the steering wheel of my golf cart. Squidward did. And I don't know who did that. Why are you leaving off Squidward? It had. Was it? In the middle. Oh, yeah. Like the yeah. It must have been Jake since he knows so much. Yeah, Jake is no, like. We were sitting no. in the pasture looking at it earlier, but he swears it wasn't him, and I can't draw to save my life. I don't watch The Simpsons, but I draw the little And Simpsons I feel gap. like if it's been there forever, I surely would have seen it. But I also didn't no. notice it even when he was pointing it out today. So I think we got to go back and watch videos of me riding on your golf cart and see if we can look over, like, from my side and see if we can see it. Oh, I'm, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Some of these are being perceived as challenges, I do believe. I do believe that this this game has Everything gone to a whole new is level. a challenge in the right hands. <laughs> awesome. All right, so yeah, so I, I wanted the noises you're making back there as you read those. Mm. And then my next thing is I would like to have a family wiffle ball game. I would like to host a uh, Sunday dinner one day and have a family wiffle ball game. Not badminton. Not badminton. Not badminton. Bad kitten. You don't want to play any bad kitten? You want to play <laughs> So I'm messaging <laughs> these two about it, about playing wiffle ball. And Steph goes, I don't know what wiffle ball is. By the way, Lester didn't know what wiffle ball was either. Jake, do you know what wiffle ball is? Yeah. Like baseball with little holes in it. Listen, do you have you heard of what? Okay, so Stephen Stephen Lester didn't know what wiffle ball was, and <clears throat> in this three way text that's going on about what wiffle ball is, uh, Steph goes, "Is that that thing that you play with like tennis rackets?" And Brienne responds and goes, "Yeah, it's not bad kitten." <laughs> Well, to be fair, that one was just a really bad typo, but I still did not know what it was after it was revealed. <laughs> like, I did not. It was the most ridiculous conversation ever. That's all I know. I know that I sat on my couch and just died for like 30 not, minutes yes. straight. Uh, none of us could type the word, and we had to Google how to spell badminton. And then we were all like, no way, that's what it is. There's, <laughs> there's ends, multiple ends in that. It was, it was really ridiculous. <clears throat> Anyway, that's that's what I would like. I would really like to play this game at some point in time as a large family where people... Oh, that'd be funny. Like, if everybody's sitting around and everybody does it and it goes in the bucket and you have to just read it, I think... I, I foresee G crying. <laughs> like, in a laughing way or in, like, a yeah. sad... In a sad crying way because I feel like she would feel like people really She was... 
the maybe she shouldn't come to that party then. She had her head hid in shame when Lester was doing his live over there last night because he kept, uh, you know, just being making nice. Lester jokes. Huh. And she was just going, stop, stop <laughs> it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Anyway, thank you all for joining us tonight on Jake's car cake. Even though he ate one bite, he's going to take the whole thing and he just doesn't want to eat in front of people because that's his thing. So. You know, how long did it take my to the restroom when you first came to the <laughs> About eight days. Why do you think I went home? That's the only reason I had to go home. Oh my God. That's the only reason why I came back. Oh my God. I had to go, honey. Oh my gosh. She's like, no, really, I have to go. I really have yeah, to. I really got to go. Well, I can be back in like two days or something. <laughs> as long as it takes to fly here. I gotta go. That's horrible. All right. Well, what do y'all got going on this week? What are your videos coming out about? I, I couldn't even tell you right now. Everything is kind of running together in a big blur for me right now. So. Lissa? Mm. I don't know. Yes. I have a list. Everything's a blur. I have a list. I have my phone in my pocket, but I got a list. Have, see. A I'm about too. to let Moo into the pasture tomorrow I'm with the little bitty cow, so that's going to be funny. Okay. That is going to look funny. Yeah. And Steph, let's see what Steph. I'm probably going to go hog hunting at some point here soon. Probably going to go trap a coyote. Probably going to. Try to. He's going to try to do all those things. I'm just building a bathroom. Steve's coming back to the bathroom. bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, today I had a special guest out to Longhorn Lester's to help me with the horses, and I have a, a video coming out about that tomorrow. I imagine that you will catch all of these uh, fine videos from our friends tomorrow as well, and just want to say thanks so much for joining us on another Time Out Tuesday for Car Cake. Uh, I don't know who the next birthday is, but I think we have a break all the way till May, <clears throat> I think. All the way till May in two yeah, weeks. Literally. That's a bit. That's a little bit. <laughs> See you all in two weeks for another car cake. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We love you all. Have a good night.